Fifth year marks the 25th anniversary of Oprah's Favorite Things and joining us to tell us all about it. We are so excited to have Gail King, co-host of CBS Mornings and editor at large of Oprah Daily and Adam Glassman, the creative director for Oprah Daily. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining me today. We're just as excited as you because it's 25 years and we're still standing. Exactly. And, standing. and we're yes, still and doing good yes. stuff on this list. So we're very excited to be here. Yes, I'm amazed that you guys keep coming up with more and yeah. more and newer and better stuff every year. And I know this list is a must read for so many people during the holiday shopping season. So Adam, why is it always so important for you guys to feature small businesses on this massive list? Well, Joanna, we've been doing it since day one. I mean, mm -hmm. think of Spanx, think of Ugg, think of Tory Burch. You did not know those brands nope. before Oprah had them as a favorite thing years back. Now it they're turned large out to be brands. a game changer. Yeah. It's really important. I mean, Oprah has always wanted to do it. But this year in particular, we really aim for at least 75% of the list to be businesses owned by people of color, all small businesses, and women-owned businesses, which we're really proud of because there's great stuff out there and a lot of stuff made here here in the United States, including Tanya's Cookies. Yeah, which is down from, from uh, down Chapel, in North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, Joanne, have you heard of uh, Tanya's Cookies? You know I've heard of Tanya's Cookies. <laughs> I have a jar of those in my office right now. They are delicious. I know you guys yeah, are going to dig so. in as soon as you're finished. With no, they're interview. delicious, but we also we love the whole so story behind Tanya's Cookies, and that's also really important. You know, like Tanya wanted to uh, replicate her grandmother's pecan pie, but as a crisp, and they're gluten-free. Did you know they were gluten-free? Gail did, and she loved them. Then yeah. she found out they were gluten-free, she's like... Then you start coming okay. up with stuff. Well, is, isn't that... No, no, no. But no, great. when you taste them, there's no denying that these are very, very good. Tanya did a great, great job with it. They're addicting. I absolutely understand that jar is disappearing in our office right now. So, Adam, tell me how involved Oprah is with making this list. Is she really oh, boy. testing out all these items? Or are you guys kind of like, know. this is good? I always love when people ask I this I know. We question. have to laugh when we get that question. It's, it's almost like the question, like, what she really likes. The truth of the matter is, it is called Oprah's favorite things. Yeah. She literally tastes everything, tries everything, says no to a lot of things, says yes to a lot of things. We work on those lists for at least six months. Yeah. Actually, once we put this to bed and we, we are able to enjoy the holidays ourselves, then we start thinking about the list for the next year. I'll bet it's longer than six months. We will yeah. go to her with something and say, but everybody really likes this Oprah. And she'll say, well, it's called the Oprah list. It doesn't say the Adam <laughs> list or A or the Gail list with B. It's called the O list for a reason. So if she doesn't like it, it could be something as simple that has a great product, but she's very big on packaging. That's why we love the packaging of Tiny's Cookies. I know. Even this packaging of these yeah. bath bombs from Musi, she just loves it so great because they are women of the world. And this is Dr. Maya Angelou, actually, yes. right here on this, in this bath bomb packaging. It's all about packaging. And God is in the details. And I really mm -hmm. have learned that by working with Oprah and Gail for the last 20 some odd years. Well, I remember seeing Oprah's favorite things back when Oprah had a show. I learned yes. so much as a child from that. There were some really great items and it's just gotten bigger and better. Gail, I know you've gotten to check out many of the items on this list. What are some of your other favorites that people should really be looking out for? Well, you watch the show as a child. I do too. And that <laughs> that's where, that's how it all started. Somebody gave Oprah a pair of pajamas that she loved and she thought, wouldn't it be great? If I could share these with pe people, because Oprah always believes life is better when shared. And that's how it started. So I've got a couple of favorite things. We'll end with the planner because that's our new favorite thing, because it's our newest thing. And I was like a bright, shiny penny. But I really am nuts about these Henry masks, because two years later, we're still dealing with masks. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that is the reality going into the holidays. You've got to wear your mask. So if you're going to wear one, wear a cute one. And this certainly fits the bill because it's not smashed on your face. That's what I like about it. And talk about, he's got a personal, great personal story that we like too. Yeah, a great question. And our planner, which I really love. This is and our favorite, favorite thing. Our favorite, favorite thing, which is part planner, part journal. It is undated. And starting in January, Oprah is going to lead people through this planner. If you become an Oprah Daily insider. insider yep. So if you go to Oprah Daily, you could find the entire list and become an insider on it. So I'm yeah. proud of this. Yeah, journaling is very important to her. She's been doing it since she was 15. So it, it matters what it looks like. And we were in a meeting one day and she said, if you even do half of this journal, it will change your life. That's pretty that's, big coming from her. That's big coming from Oprah. And when you hear Oprah's doing something, you're going to do it. So I'm going to yes. start journaling in the new year. Sounds Please. like I'm right. up for this. Guys, thank you so much for your time today. Where can people go to check out the full list of all the favorite things? And of course, check out more about that planner.
You go to OprahDaily.com or you go to Amazon slash Oprah's Favorite Things. We prefer OprahDaily.com. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but it is great that but you, you guys can are get it on it Amazon. Accessible on Amazon too. Yes, yes. Ab absolutely true. We're big, big fans of Amazon. Yeah. All big right. Fan. Thank you guys so much for your time.